Squeeze in living standards today is longer and deeper than at any time since the early 1920s. Indeed, real wages today are 6% lower than they were in the year before the crash in 2007. In a sense, the, the, the main business that we've had, it started with myself and my two closest friends, and it's just been an amazing 13 years, one I'm intensely grateful for. We got some things right and we got some things wrong. Over the past few years, we have seen most companies having to restructure. As these companies are under pressure to perform, we have all had to deal with achieving more, faster, and with less capital and resources. The reason we are not growing has almost nothing to do with the deficit and everything to do with aggregate demand in the economy. The main engines of demand that get economic growth going in the economy have all been stuttering since the great financial collapse of 2008. And then 2008, it was like everything that could go wrong did go wrong. A, a big competitor launched against us and took a load of our shelf space. The credit crunch hit and we lost a third of our sales overnight. We lost more money in that year than we made in the entire company's history. We owed millions of pounds to the bank. We basically, we did a deal with Coca-Cola, sold us some shares, got some cash into the business. And since that horrible year of 2008, we've now doubled in size. We've gone from the sort of the, the, the cliff edge to a more stable place. The prospects for growth this year and next are not great. Probably better than 2012, but 1%, maximum 2, certainly no more than that. For all of the reasons that Andrew has been talking about, law firms are looking at the emerging markets and looking at the expansive markets because we're not expecting any material growth in the UK for the foreseeable future. The French economy now stagnant. The mighty German economy set not to grow this year. So although the financial collapse that may have produced a Eurogeddon, as we were calling it in the press, is probably not going to happen, it is still a long way to go before you can see recovery in the Eurozone. Change is hard. It's not welcome. But if there is one thing we can be sure, is that continuous change is here to stay. One of the important things, obviously, about um, professional services firms is that ultimately our capital is our people and the people need to be happy and the people need to be fully engaged and to get the vision, to get the culture and to be engaged with each other. It's an obvious point, but a business is ultimately nothing other than a community of human beings. It's not the buildings, it's not the technology, it's the actual group of people because everything that a business does or doesn't do is a result of having a group of people that want to do it or don't want to do it or can do it or can't do it and so it just becomes this massive exercise in human psychology can you spot the best brains can you attract them in can you keep them engaged motivated develop them and it's it's the most important thing to get right but i thought it was a really good event i think uh, some great speakers and i particularly enjoyed the, the last speaker with the story about his company and how he started it and, and how he grew it it's very very interesting really focusing on the culture of the business and how if we change the culture we can actually get the change management processes to stick.